the Kinjal missile, Russia's cutting-edge hypersonic weapon, is launched from a high-altitude MiG-31 fighter jet. Capable of reaching speeds up to Mach 10, this air-launched ballistic missile has a reported range of 1,500 to 2,000 kilometers. First unveiled in 2018, the Kinjal represents a new era of strategic weapons that combine extreme speed with precision strike capabilities. Its twilight launch signifies Russia's technological leap in hypersonics, designed to bypass traditional missile defenses. Accelerating to Mach 10, approximately 12,300 km per hour, the Kinzhal demonstrates why hypersonic weapons revolutionize modern warfare. At this speed, the missile covers 3.4 km every second, making interception nearly impossible. The plasma cloud surrounding the warhead creates radar-defeating effects. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles, Kinzhal can perform evasive maneuvers during its terminal phase. This combination of speed and agility reduces warning time for targets to just seconds, fundamentally changing defense calculus. Advanced air defense networks struggle to respond to Kinzhal's hypersonic threat. Radar systems face tracking difficulties due to plasma sheathing and unpredictable flight paths. Even cutting-edge interceptors, like Patriot or S-400 missiles, have limited success against targets moving at such velocities. Military analysts estimate current interception probabilities below 15% for hypersonic weapons. This scene shows multiple interceptor missiles missing their target as the Kinzhal outmaneuvers defense algorithms designed for slower projectiles. The Kinzhal strikes its target with devastating effect releasing kinetic energy equivalent to a small nuclear warhead without radioactive fallout. Its 500-kilogram conventional or nuclear-capable warhead can penetrate reinforced bunkers up to 6 meters deep. Post-strike analysis reveals craters 15 meters wide, demonstrating why these weapons are prioritized for high-value targets. This successful strike underscores how hypersonic missiles are reshaping global power dynamics, with at least six nations now developing similar systems in response.